Hey guys, it's Miss Waters. Um, I just want to congratulate you of making it through another week of online learning. Y'all are doing awesome. Um, and this week I think went a lot smoother for a lot of you. So um, keep up the good work. Um, I do have some reminders and some things that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, first off, remember you have a test coming up this week. Um, it's going to be split over two days. Wednesday and Thursday. So Wednesday, you're going to have a part one. And then Thursday, you're going to have a part two. We're just trying to split it up over two days for y'all so that the workload is not um, nearly as much. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, the test will be open note and you may use a calculator. So keep that in mind. Open note, that means you can use all your notes that you've been taking and you may use a calculator. Um, it's going to be on School City, and so just remember that all those tools are available for you. Um, you can use, um, you know, if you need to zoom in, there's a zoom in button. You can um, flag questions and come back to them, but just make sure you actually do go back to them. Um, all of those tools are up available for you in the top right corner. Um, in preparation for the test. Today, on Monday, your assignment is gonna to be to take a practice test, okay? So it's gonna give you kind of different types of questions that you can expect to see on the real test. So this will be a good um, gauge for you to kind of determine where you're at and um, if there are certain topics that you need to go back and review, okay? The study guide is available on its learning, okay? And I've attached it to the plan for today as well, just at the bottom, it says optional study guide. Um, some of those questions will be assigned to you on Tuesday. So if you like, for example, if you missed um, one of the questions on the practice test, and if they correspond with the study guide, if you wanna go ahead and get a jump start on your Tuesday stuff, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's gonna be available. Um, does that kind of, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, feel free to message me. Um, I will still be available pretty much at any point. Uh, my hours are pretty flexible. So a lot of you, even though maybe I'm not on the Google Meet right then with, you know, Mr. Bottoms or Ms. Sharada, if you've needed help, a lot of you have reached out to me through the It's Learning Messenger and I've been able to say, yeah, let's get on, um, let's get on the team um, Google Meet real quick and help figure that out. Um, some days I might just run because we're getting we're getting um, ready for the math test. Some days I might just like kind of run my own Google Meet so that it's just all math. So you can come on there any at any point for math. So I keep stay tuned for announcements as far as that goes. Um, I really, really, really want y'all to be confident in what you're doing. Um, so. If I do ask you to get on a Google Meet, just know like you don't have to share your picture with me if that makes you nervous, but um, it's just such a great tool for us to be able to talk through different problems together. Um, but at least reach out to me through the It's Learning Messenger, okay? At least do that. Um, I think that's just about it. The Would You Rather questions for Fun Friday, y'all are cracking me up. Let me just say that. I loved your responses. It sounds like most of you would much prefer to eat jello with a fork, which I don't know why. Don't really like jello, so y'all are crazy. And then I think the majority of everybody chose to um, that they would rather have chicken legs as their legs than a turkey neck. I honestly think I disagree with y'all on that one too. I think I'd much rather a turkey neck I can just get some like a turtleneck shirt and just cover it up, you know? Um, and then it seems like 50-50, people don't really care, you know, socks or shirt backwards, it doesn't matter. Dirty socks. I'd probably go with the dirty socks just to get it over with. All right, so I think that's about it, except we can't forget the joke of the day, so let's go ask Mr. Waters real quick. I'm going to turn my camera around, we're going to sneak up on him. Well, I thought I could turn it around. Hey, Mr. Waters. Hey. I have a joke for you. Yeah. Okay. How do you make the number one disappear? 
Um, you subtract one from it. No, you just add a G and it's gone. <laughs> you know he likes it. <laughs>